I'm Jenny Reese. I'm a Nebraska Extension educator. We provide research-based information to the people that we serve. Extension covers things all the way from 4-H to livestock to crops. My role specifically is working in crops and water. We work with farmers. They hear about different production practices and different products, and they hear things from their peers. And they wonder, will this practice or will this product work for my farm? We as Extension come alongside of the farmer and say, let's test this on your own farm. We work with Jenny Reese weekly usually, sometimes daily. Just depends on which activities we're going through, if she has any tests, or she goes out there on her own and does it. Picks the plants, looks for diseases, looking for insects, things like that, to help us then make decisions. We were intrigued just by the different ideas out there. If there's something that somebody else is using uh, that might work on our farm, uh, then we get excited as far as, especially if it's gonna show some efficiencies. The relationship we have with the on-farm research people has been tremendous. Whether we need a soil scientist, a insect scientist, the university has been able to provide, uh, whether it be even statistics, to aid us in getting a lot of the results uh, from the research. So our research project is basically nitrogen and soybean. We are doing this experiment uh, with three treatments in 35 different high-yielding soybean environments. And then in each environment, we are collaborating with these producers to get their management practices and then collect data from their fields. So in the industry, it's going to be useful. The question would be, will there be enough nitrogen provided by the soybean and the soil? So we wanted to have a tool to identify these fields that will respond to nitrogen and then give farmers a tool to use to, uh, for their nutrient management decisions. When we were harvesting at Eberspacher's field, he was looking at a soybean maturity study. And the reason for that is if you can harvest sooner, it opens the window for doing things like planting a cover crop or just spreads out your harvest load too because we've been able to prove that as long as you have a strong genetic, you're still going to yield the same whether it's an early season or a late season. To me, that's the power of on-farm research. It's connecting farmers with other farmers. We're all learning and failing, so we fail forward together so that we're growing and we can adapt for the next challenge too. The one thing that helps us has been the population study. Dropping our populations from 160,000 to 130,000 saves us bags of seed. So I think that's the biggest thing, but I think the next biggest thing is just that you have to keep trying new things. And once you see that it works, you can incorporate that in future years going forward for generations to come. There's a lot of challenges that our farmers face each year. The farmers that I work with have a desire to maintain or improve the land for the next generation. At the end of the day, we help farmers increase their yield, hopefully, and then by the end, it's feeding the world. We couldn't do on-farm research without our farmers, and I'm so grateful for the Nebraska Soybean Board and all of our commodity board support because we couldn't do this otherwise. And to me, this is the most practical way of getting relevant, innovative data that our farmers are interested in is through on-farm research.